Okay, we're going to do another walkthrough of a project I just finished. This is a brand new 2018 Dodge Promaster 2500 159 wheelbase. The lady brought me this van, uh, I think it was a little over four weeks ago, uh, before the 4th of July, and we had, uh, that kind of fell in the middle of the week, kind of slowed everything down, and uh, getting the solar panels for some reason, it took a little bit longer to get them. But she wanted a uh, video monitoring system for whenever she uh, she's inside, she's a single lady. She's going to be doing a lot of uh, city dwelling, so she wanted to be able to see what was around her before she opened her doors. We'll just do a quick walk around, then we'll go through it here. You can kind of see the uh, solar panels up on top there, just barely. There's a side camera. We also have another camera up top up here. There's her 30 amp RV plug. And there's the driver's side camera. And then uh, there's her front camera. These are night vision cameras as well. She wanted a bulkhead in here for security in case uh, you know someone did break into the van. It gives her that little bit of extra time. But we built a, a full bulkhead with a split door. It's all carpeted. This seat is not quite all the way back with the doors closed like that. You could take it the rest of the way back there is storage behind both seats so she'll be able to uh, if she wanted to she could store her extra water behind the seats uh, the only way to unlock it from the cab area is by key that way there's no handle to grab a hold of or nothing so let's go around to the back. Okay, as you can tell here, we put in a, uh, a back wall with uh, no window. We put in a 5,000 BTU window unit. I did relocate the factory light. So whenever you do open the doors, this dome light comes on. It gives you a little bit in the back, back area. And she wanted storage underneath of the bed. So I give her all kinds of storage under here. That's uh, almost 40 inches to the top of that. So she can get quite a bit of stuff under here. We did install a diesel heater, a Chinese diesel heater. That's the fuel tank for it. Them cables there are for her uh, security monitor system. They send you like 30 feet of each cable. So that's the best place I could put them and still get access to them if you ever needed to. Over here we have a 2000 watt Renergy pure sine wave inverter, 4000 surge. This is her, her breaker box, her fuse box. It's all 30 amp. And then there's the door for the front. Okay, here on the roof, you can see we've got uh, 600 watts of energy. That's six 100 watt panels wired in parallel and series with two Max Air fans. This is a uh, 2500. 159 wheelbase it's tight but it will fit okay when you walk up here to the side door and 
there's your view. She wanted all white interior. We went with butcher block countertops. She also wanted a flip up little counter extension there. So we put that in for her. This opening here with the top down, with the counter extension down, is 24 inches. That's hard to do one handed. There we go. So that's 24 inches wide. And I'm, uh, I'm not a skinny guy by any means. I'm 5'11", 275, and I can fit right through there, no problem. This here is a, uh, she wanted a closet. So we put in a closet here. Uh, this could also be converted, if someone wanted to, to a, uh, a shower. I said, I can stand up in there, I can move around. It's a little... A little snug um, if I was going to do it again for myself I would probably do this same thing for a shower anyway and make it just a little bit wider because it's only 24 inches she uh, had a chest style refrigerator that she had shipped here that she wanted uh, wanted to use so we We put it in. That's full extension. The top will completely open with no problems at all. And we've got dual uh, 100 pound drawer slides, two on each side. It's currently running off of a 12 volt, has been for a couple days. She wanted uh, an insert. She sent me a sink that said she would like to use it. It was a top mount. I converted it to an under mount. So whenever we put the butcher block on there, we could have the, the insert. She can also use one side of her insert as a cutting board if she wanted to. Just residential faucet with the, the hose extension. I did not put the, the weight on the hose to help pull it back in there. Just because you're driving down the road and it's beating, in, beating around underneath of the cabinet. It'll drive you crazy. She has six gallons of water, of fresh water, six gallons of uh, gray water. And because this is a composite sink, and the way I had to mount it there, with the, the bouncing of the road, I also added this brace here, and I put a bead of silicone in between the bottom of the sink and the brace just to keep it from squeaking or moving around so uh, she does have running water man i wish they'd make a quieter pump that's just horrible she also wanted some uh under mount led lights for on the kitchen area so we put them in there. She wanted upper cabinets. She wanted them uh, closed. She didn't like the, the open look. So that's what we did all the way around here. That is a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. And with the 600 watts of solar that's on the roof in full sun, that air conditioner will run off of the solar alone with no problem. I had it out here earlier and had it on. We've got uh, 
10 LED puck lights throughout the whole whole van. They're controlled by two switches, two dimmer switches. That's for the, the four over the bed seating area. And then the other one's for the six in the kitchen living area. These cushions here, I, I made them underneath the each cushion. You've got storage. This is that access to the uh, under bed storage area. This is her pull out table. It comes out 24 inches and it stops just shy of the kitchen counter area. I could have not put this face piece on and notch this corner out just a little, then it would have came out the full 28 for over here. Because since she's a, a single lady, you know, most of the time it'll just be her, so she'll be sitting on this side. But I think this gives it a lot cleaner look. That's set up for a twin mattress. It's just shy of six foot wall to wall. 38 inches wide underneath of this bed or this uh, this cushion that's her two 6 volt VMAX batteries 225 amp hours and then there's her fuses for her inverter and for her solar and then she also has a storage area under here Underneath of the refrigerator is some shoe storage and uh, that's the vents for the diesel heater. As you can see here, that's the, the bulkhead uh, door. So all she has to do is open that. She can leave that open if she wanted to. And you can still access all of the storage and stuff above the cab area. And these doors, as small as they are, block out a tremendous amount of the heat that comes off that windshield. And when you open them, and it's just like an oven for the air that's coming through here. I did repurpose the factory dome light here that, uh, you know, most of them are right about here. It's in the body. Well, I extended the wires and relocated that over here. So whenever you open the side door, the sliding door, that light will come on and function just like it normally would. She's supposed to be here in a little bit to find out uh, what she thinks about it. And because uh, she hasn't seen it other than a couple pictures after I did the uh, spray foam insulation and uh, had the floor down covered with wood. Um, if you can notice here, the doors are a little high. She has some uh, mats that she's going to put on the floor. Uh, they're like the the cushion mats that you would get for a shop or something like that. That way when they start to wear out, she can throw them away. So that's a, that's the tour. I think she'll be happy. I hope she'll be happy with it. Oh, I'm going to show you her monitor system here. So she plans on sleeping with her head to the passenger side. So I mounted this so whenever she's setting here on her uh, her couch or her dinette she'll be able to see the monitors if she hears something or she can turn it whenever she's in bed to see what's going on and the, the right one here is blocked by the door there that's better 
and she can change that to whatever motor she just wants to see the front the back the left or right or a combination of all of them but that's the tour i hope you guys liked the video i appreciate all of you for watching uh, if you need help with your project whether it be a partial project or a full conversion a school bus van minivan whatever feel free to contact me uh, via email at redscustomdesign at outlook.com you can also visit my uh, facebook group page under reds custom design and uh, instagram i'd appreciate any follow you guys could give me on any of them and thank you for watching feel free to share i am located in uh, southern indiana for anybody that's traveling through and would feel like stopping in and if i don't get back to your email you know as soon as you send it uh I do apologize. I will get back to you. Sometimes it takes me a little bit. Thank you.